Hey, you're watching TV Central, the show that keeps you in the know about all things TV. I'm your host, Larissa Benfi, and I don't know about you, but when I get into a show, I really get into a show. I'm talking epic sessions of binge watching episodes, and sometimes even entire seasons in one sitting. And while this isn't something I'm overly proud to admit, I am happy to say that I know I'm not alone. With the rise of streaming video and more to the point, Netflix, binge watching has quickly become a cultural phenomenon. On today's episode, we're taking a look at the company that made binge watching socially acceptable and discussing some of the top contenders for most binge watchable TV shows of all time. That's all coming up next on TV Central. I'm sure most of us can remember the days when you needed to wait an entire week in order to watch the next episode of your favorite show. And the possibility that you might miss an episode was practically catastrophic. Of course, since PVR and online streaming came along, the more archaic approaches to TV watching are slowly disappearing, and a whole new viewing style is taking over. Not only are we no longer missing episodes, but we, the audience, get to dictate the pace at which we watch our favorite shows. And that is where binge watching enters the scene. Arguably, binge watching has been around since the dawn of the DVD box set. Back when people still flocked to stores like Blockbuster or Walmart to rent or buy DVDs, you could grab older seasons of your favorite show and save them for a rainy day. And on that rainy day, you would suddenly find yourself eight episodes in and wondering where the time went. But in 2013, Netflix took binge watching to a whole new level. It's one thing to buy an older season of your favorite TV show while waiting for the next season to come out. It's another thing entirely to have the newest season released all at once, giving you access to every gripping episode right away. And that's exactly what Netflix did. On February 1st, 2013, Netflix, the company known for supplying other studios' movies and TV shows to the general public for over a decade, finally released its own original program in the form of an American political drama television series called House of Cards. Unlike every TV show before it, though, House of Cards released all 13 episodes of its first season on the same day. But of course, Netflix didn't make such a mind-blowing decision without doing a little research first. According to the chief content officer of Netflix, Ted Sarandos, their viewing data showed that the majority of streamers would actually prefer to have a whole season of a show available to watch at their own pace. So Netflix decided to give their viewers exactly what they wanted, plain and simple. Only a few months later, in May 2013, Netflix released 15 new episodes of the cult classic Arrested Development, making up its eagerly anticipated fourth season. And two months after that, in July, another Netflix original series premiered, Orange is the New Black. With their two biggest original series both being renewed for second seasons, on top of receiving rave reviews and in some cases Golden Globes, Netflix model is definitely working for them. But perhaps even more importantly, they have helped to usher in a new era where binge watching is no longer only acceptable on sick days, but rather something that viewers do often and proudly. Let's move right past the possible correlation between the rise in binge watching and national obesity and talk about which shows will take you on the greatest binge watching adventures. Thanks to a vast array of old and new TV shows available on Netflix, we don't actually have to limit this list to shows that are currently on the air. But that's not to say that there aren't some great ones. I'd say story is the first qualification needed to make a show binge watchable. If there isn't a compelling story, there isn't much of a reason to keep watching. The shows that have some form of story arc over the course of the season usually capture my attention more than those that don't. Take 24, for example. The show lasted eight seasons and kept viewers on their toes throughout every single episode. Now that's the type of show I'd binge watch any day, regardless of whether I wanted to or not, I'm sure. After eight unforgettable seasons, these people need to be stopped. They need to be held accountable. How will it all end? I'm gonna finish when I started. The 24 series finale. Great characters are another poll. Characters that you love to hate and hate to love can bring you back episode after episode. And if any show has gotten their characters down, it's Arrested Development. While I personally believe this show has done everything right, I think even people who don't like the show can admit that it's chocked full of interesting characters 
with strange and fascinating interrelationships. If you're looking for humor, search no further than shows like 30 Rock, Parks and Recreation, New Girl, Community, or Modern Family. The writing plays a big part, as well as the actor's delivery, but all of those shows have mastered both. And then there are the shows for the people who like it steamy. True Blood, The Tudors, Desperate Housewives, the old classic itself, Sex and the City, and arguably even Vampire Diaries. For those who like political drama, you're in luck. There are literally dozens of shows out there for you. Scandal, Homeland, House of Cards, or MI5, to name a few. One of the many Law and Orders will probably strike your fancy, or if you're tired after a long day and will probably zone out anyway, then CSI would be perfect. And then, of course, if you want to see what all the fuss is about, set aside a few hours this weekend to start binging on Game of Thrones, which combines a lot of the qualities already mentioned. And by that, I mean sex and writing. Speaking of fuss, I'd be crazy not to mention the huge hit Breaking Bad. While the series has just come to an end, that doesn't mean it's too late to get into it. In fact, the creator of the series, Vince Gilligan himself, actually attributed binge-watching to the show's increase in ratings as the seasons progressed. That you're comfortable about me. I just want you to know that no matter how it may work, I only have you in my heart. Run, Mr. White, run! Get a little excitement in your life. <laughs> So it seems the binge-watching phenomenon may not actually be a phenomenon, but the way of the future. Some people have argued that it has more negative consequences than positive ones, and that's probably true, but the heart wants what it wants, am I right? That's it for this episode of TV Central. Check back often on CIB24.com for more episodes and entertainment news. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Until next time, I'm Larissa Benfee and thanks for watching.